How you doing, YouTube? This guy, Matt, Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of a fruited ice bock time in the form of Coonan Brewing's Raspberry Ice Bock 2012. Uh, yeah, I've never had this beer, ever. Not in any of its forms, whether it be its base beer, um, fruited versions, barrel aged versions, but it's always been a beer I really wanted to try. One, because I love Coonan. I love their old ales. I love their beers in general, um, but I just never, just never had it. I have friends that go to the brewery, all that stuff. Just kind of eluded me. Then one just kind of fell in my lap, and um, I'm going to review it. So here we go. Age, none, nonetheless. Uh, Coonan Brewing, a raspberry ice bock, 15.5% alcohol by volume, so it's it's a chugger. Uh, 2012 version raspberry ice bock. Red raspberry juice is infused in this intense lager beer. Uh, delicate chocolate-like aroma gives way to a wonderful balance of sweet malt, tart fruit, age for drinkability. So 2012, this is 2018. Um, probably about a m couple months before they're going to do their release of this annually. So you're just short of six years. So label-wise, it's fantastic. This one's all, all aged and beat up and all kind of scarred and beaten up. And you got nice, beautiful wax up top. So I'm kind of digging it all around label-wise. Let's see if I can just power through this wax with this opener. <sighs> Come on, baby. I don't have my other... I can not find my, like, old-school OG opener that, like, helps me open all this stuff. Get this sucker in here and see if we can carve out a little wax on this sucker. There we go. Throwing shit. That's what I do. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Big hiss on that one. There was a little bit of a hiss when I was trying to power it off. So there was a little bit of carbonation, but I don't expect much in this sucker. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, I could toss that sucker in there and I'm not going to get much from her. So what do we have here? Um, uh, you know, does she look like an ice box? Sure. I mean, ice box are generally pretty dark beers. Uh, but this one definitely has that kind of raspberry hue to it. You can't really see it. Maybe glean a little bit of color around the bottom here. But um, definitely in the pour, you get those rich kind of, it's almost the same color you have up there. That rich kind of mahogany, burgundy kind of color up there. And the head was actually pretty decent. I threw it in there trying to generate one. And it got a decent head on it, not just for me tossing it in there. So there's a little bit of carbonation in this sucker. See if we get a nose on her. Yeah, it's straight up rich, 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 almost liqueur like raspberry. And you get that kind of pitted jamminess to it, too. It's definitely like has this jammy, rich seed intact or seed inside kind of jamminess. It's pretty freaking fantastic. And this big, huge chocolate component. It's definitely like I've talked about the grandma candies. I forget what Joe from Joe's Arcade said one time. He called it tasties. I forget what he called it, but I mean, we don't get to that on the East Coast. It's those kind of mystery candies that your grandma typically has. And, and it has like the, 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 the legend, you know, the clear thing that tells you what the candy is but you lose it and you don't know what it is and then you dive in and you yank that candy out and every now and then you get you're looking for the peanut butter smidgen one you know what I mean but you eat it coconut this raspberry that or coconut this this that and then all of a sudden you hit that big raspberry one you don't really want as a kid because you're like fruit sucks that's this but it's really good because I'm not a kid anymore mentally just not physically so yeah you get that big raspberry chocolate component <sighs> Not, there's a soft, sweet booziness to it, but it's not boozy that much at all. Again, you're talking about 2012, you're talking about six years. That's tempered a lot of that corners, kind of shaved those corners down, made it a bit more rounded. It smells really sweet, though. I'm not going to lie. <sighs> Let's dive in. Cheers. Ooh. Okay. Man. That's that chocolate raspberry candy. It's 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 that that's what it is. That's what it is in, a, in that box. Straight up, there's no denying it. Rich, just south of milk chocolate, wrapped around a really jammy raspberry liqueur kind of jammy candy. Almost literally, almost no booziness in there, which is absolutely bonkers for almost a sixteen percent beer. 
it's lost a little bit of carbonation. There might even be a bit of kind of oxidation going on, but it, 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 I find it to be kind, kind of pleasurable. Um, if it was still a little bit more carbonated, I don't know how carbonated it is to begin with because a lot of these Conan beers come a little bit lower carbonated than people would like them. Um, but it doesn't just kind of ruin the beer in any sense whatsoever. If it had a little bit more carbonation, would it be more better? More better? Because that's proper English. Maybe. But I don't mind it. And that soft little, ever so slightest bit of oxidation is not a bad thing when it comes to this beer. Actually, I don't think it's like a little bit of a drying component to it. It kind of balances off a little bit of sweetness. So sometimes carbonation can be, or carbonation, uh, oxidation can be your friend in small amounts. People don't view it just as a negative. Um... Mm. It's a dessert beer through and through, but at the same time, I think it's a, it's a it's it's a it's its own thing. It's it's a beer to be drank because of it. Um, it's it's not just a dessert beer. It's something you. It's like a cigar or a glass of fine scotch or something like that. It's that kind of beer for me. Sure, I do have a little bit of you know expectations of it being fantastic based off me wanting to have it for so long. So I'm trying to kind of keep those at bay. And I think I do a pretty good job of that with almost every beer I get. Um, and if it was crap, hot crap, I'd say it's hot crap. But I, I just don't think that's the case here. I think it shows really well. I think the age has treated it beautifully. I think the way the raspberries come off are really nice, really authentic, really jammy with a nice seed component to it. And the beer is really sweet, but it's a 16% ice block. It's going to be sweet. I'm not expecting it not to be sweet, so that's not a big knock in my book. I think it's an absolutely tasty beer all around. Is it one of the better high ABV, you know, beers that I've ever had? I Maybe. You know what I mean? It's not like saying this is king shit of fuck mountain and it's the end all be all beers, but I think it's really nice. It's it, it's it's a it's an aged cognac of beers. It's it, it's a fine old painting, whatever you want to call it. It it, it has those kind of ideals and sensibilities about it that are appreciated by people that like old things. Man, really nailing it today with descriptors, aren't I? Mm. Yeah, that's tasty. Yeah. And it's simple. I'm not going to sit here and lie. The depth of flavor for what it delivers was gigantic. But it's raspberry. It's chocolate. Done. There's a small little liqueur kind of thing in the background. Like, that's, maybe that's why I'm trying to say cognac. And there's a, there's a rich maltiness. But it all marries into that chocolate and that raspberry. It's pretty much two components with so much depth just to those components. So, um, you know, it, it, it's, 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 um, what's the word I'm looking for? A phrase I'm looking for. It's deep in simplicity. I guess that's the best way I could put it. Tasty beer. Super tasty beer. Absolutely fantastic. I think it's cash money. I love Icebox in general. Kuhnbacher Icebox. Freaking Aventinus Icebox. They're some of my favorite beers. And this is probably the best Icebox I've ever had. Let's talk about it. It's the best Icebox I've ever had. Yes, I've heard the barely version's even better. But for me, bar none, best Icebox I've ever had. Value and availability. Um, I paid a couple bucks for this. It, it shoots off. It sells... For 30 bucks a bottle at the brewery when it releases. I didn't pay much more than that, so I'm not too peaked about that, especially with six years on it. I'm okay paying that little bit of vig. Um, so it's an expensive beer, but I think it's worth it, especially you get a couple of people chipping in a bottle. It's only 375, but you get three people to chip on it. I don't think it's a big deal. That's just me. Um, brewery only, I'll leave you with if you like what we like this. If you like Icebox, kind of on the nose, but hey. What are you going to do? If you Or if you like those Jamie Raspberry candies that I was talking about. If you like those in Icebox, you're a fucking happy dude. Or a woman. Or anything you want to be. So there you go. Another review in the books down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. If you want to check me out doing a whole podcast and stuff. And hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully enjoying a little six-year-old Icebox right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.